the logs are boring. Why, yes. Yes, they are, Rick. But I couldn't think of any other idea for a video today. So a vlog it is. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's really Rick. Now, I titled this video, The Anorexic Fat Man, and that's exactly how I've been feeling lately. Um, let me give you a little backstory. Now, occasionally, sometimes, people get into financial situations where they end up having to choose between certain things in life, the necessities that are important to keep them going on. And back in June, um, after I went to the hospital, I started having some financial problems because of insurance and things like that. So I started to have to make choices about what I went with and what I went without. Rent, you've got to have a place to live. Medication, uh, i got to survive. If I'm not on my meds, uh, it's just, you know, pointless. Well, one of the things that I chose that I could go without was food. And so since approximately the middle of June until now the middle of August, 60 days, um, I've pretty much not eaten uh, like I normally have in the past. Um, I have gone week at a time without eating. Um, occasionally, you know, um, maybe I snuck some crackers or I snuck a Nutri-Grain bar or occasionally, you know, I might have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But that's pretty much been it for almost two full months now. Now only one friend knows about the situation and he's tried to help out occasionally by maybe bringing me some Taco Bell or some 99 cent Wendy's or something like that. But for the most part, not eating. Well, as a side effect of this, I have dropped now 50 pounds, which is a great thing, but I am still incredibly fat. Watching me on these YouTube videos, I look at myself and I cringe and I'm like, why did I do that? I am so fucking fat. But I am seeing some benefits. Now let's take a perfect example, like this t-shirt. It's from Element. When I bought it, I could not wear it. I never tried it on, but when I would button it up, the buttons would be so stretched out from my big fat gut that I couldn't wear it. Well, here's what it looks like now, 50 pounds later. So, as you can see, I can totally wear this shirt now and without any problems. Now, am I anorexic? Well, that I don't know. So I went and I looked up and did a little research on anorexia and found out, you know, what are the signs, stuff like that. Well, only 10% of anorexics are male and, you know, that's no big surprise and certainly, you know, I fit into so many minorities already that being in that minority wouldn't be a big thing. But this is what one website describes anorexia as. Individuals with anorexia take extreme measures to avoid eating. They often become abnormally thin and still talk about being fat or bloated. And I don't know about you, but if you've ever gone even a day or two without eating, the way that it makes you feel both physically and mentally, it's, it's, even, it's hard to explain. It's one of the most uncomfortable feelings, almost to the point of pain, that I've ever had. But now I'm almost starting to enjoy it because I look at myself and I think I'm so fat and I think this is one way to do it. Anyway, the signs of anorexia include an intense drive for thinness. I've got that. Refusal to maintain a minimal normal weight. Doesn't really apply yet. Fear of becoming fat, of course. Distorted body image. That I'm not so sure about. I think I'm fat. If you read the comments of my videos, people tell me I'm fat, so I don't think that's distorted. Denying feelings of hunger. Um, yeah, I mean, there's people that I don't tell, and then there's people that I'm like, no, I'm fine, don't worry about it. Avoiding situations where food is involved. Well, can't really do that right now because I don't have any food. Um, developing rituals around preparing food and eating. Haven't gotten to that point yet. I mean, this, this we'll, we'll all see what happens when everything gets straightened out and my financial situation gets back on track and I have the ability to have food again. Will I start eating? I don't know. Obsession with dieting. You know, I've been making jokes lately, if you've ever paid attention to my videos, that my diet is malnutrition, dehydration, and diarrhea. Yeah. 
um, social withdrawal, well, <laughs> I've had that forever, and pronounced emotional changes such as irritability, depression, and anxiety. Um, well, I've got drugs for those. Physical signs of anorexia include thinning hair, hello, um, dry, flaky skin, I don't know, mice like right here, my face is always peeling, anyway, and cracked, broken nails. Well, my nails are okay. So am I fat and am I anorexic? Yes, and I don't know. But like I said, I am glad that I can fit into this shirt, but I still think I'm fat, and I know I'm fat. And if I used to weigh 220, and now I'm at 170, and I still look this way, and I'm 5'8", what weight do I have to get down to to, you know, not do this? So I'm thinking like 140? I'm thinking another 30 pounds? and would be good to go. So, that's my vlog for today. Kind of heavy, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, see you later, YouTube.